one owner car guy one owner car guy .com. and what i got here for you today is an absolutely gorgeous 1985 mercedes-benz 500 sec this car is in great shape and it only has 41,000 original miles i'm gonna do a quick walk around to where you can see the body the shape the shine and all that at this time of day and then when i get done i'll go and show you the interior because this is the interior part of my review I did the exterior and showed you any damages, which there ain't much to talk about. Look at the trees and it. Oh, that looks so... I'm going to turn this off and take a picture. I sure am. Yeah, that was just a photo-worthy moment. Anyways, interior. I'm going to combine them. I don't know how this will be edited together and which channel you'll see it on. But subscribe on my main channel, Serial Mar Look at this. Oh, just so gorgeous. It is. And 41,000 miles on this car ain't nothing. It's just barely, barely broken in. Look at this. gorgeous car okay i think it was deborah's in fact that's what it said on the keychain deborah's mercedes okay so my name is nathan it's 406-546-8748 you can reach me absolutely anytime one owner car guy for all kinds of pictures and stuff like that and subscribe right here on youtube let's look at the interior that's basically what we're here for all these wheels happy rubber i didn't show you that today man and little titties everywhere this stuff is just got all kinds of rubber on it they're great Newer uh, set. I'd say there's 90% tread. The dash is in great condition. I'm gonna back this up and hope that we're showing it correctly. I'm gonna put my light on on my phone to where I can. It's hard to get the perfect time of day to where you can. I want you to see everything. And there ain't nothing. Oh, of course. There we go. Boom. Yeah, it looks. There's a little wear right here. Just discoloration from on the lumbar support. Look at this, just in beautiful shape. Not really in need of much. Let's see here. These are not ripped apart. There's wear on the top surfaces of the edges. Not ripped apart though in any way. In here the carpets are great. A little bit of carpets are great condition. Underneath here. Great condition, not a rusty car, nothing. California car. Um, headliner's in good shape. A couple smudges and stuff on it. Um, floors again, great shape. Seats, great shape. This is extra pad. I don't know if that's factory. I think it is, but I don't know if this comes up. No. Medical kit. Don't know how good that is, just because it's been yours. And the top, as you can see, is a little dry. And this is really cheap to redo the package tray, but it is a little bit um, sun damaged. I'm going to show you in the trunk. This is an absolutely gorgeous car. Doors open and close just beautifully. Look at this car so pretty it is i i love this body in fact i had a hard time not putting the new wheels on it i wanted the newer updated i got a set of model blocks by the yard okay look at this watch when you open this this is amazing this literally just looks brand new and it don't stop here buddy watch this oh my god with the green dot thing and, and i want to show you this hang on there is very little chance. I'm going to say that this spare was not on the road. It's got titties on the tread and the maker's marks there. I hope you can see that because it's brand new. Look at that, man. It's just gorgeous. Tool set, all that. The foam looks great. Um, carpets, rugs, everything inside looks great. Light still works up here. I'm going to go ahead and back here to where I can open the hood on. Moving around, chip here, chip on this. It's kind of just the top front part of this. They've taken off. The door panels are in great condition. Let's just do this while we're here. Forward, backward, up in the back, up in the front, down the front. And that down the back, there we go. It's 
kind of up in the back. I believe it needs a new switch. Seems to work. It doesn't need a new switch. It's just a little sticky switchy. Does that make sense? It's a sticky switchy, but it works. You just gotta, you just gotta jiggle it. She said, um, "California blue plate car, baby. Nice." Okay, what do we got in here? We got a nice car. Is what we got. Same thing, chippy chip, and the front part is gone. What I mean when I say that is this part they just chipped off real good, baby. But it doesn't look like this like it originally should. Tiny crack here. But it's just that is the main part. Now the dash. Look at that. The dash is beautiful. And I dare say there's no cracks in it, man. There is no cracks in it. Pioneer has been added. Um, this has some marks and stuff on it that are very hard to see. Marks meaning the stress cracks they get. In fact, this would be an extreme variant of it. This is not factory, I don't believe. No way, I've never seen nothing like this. But the top is all checked and hey, a wallet. Look at that. I could not, I actually let go on accident because my other hand's broken, but it's real nice wood, baby. We got a humidor right in your car, I think. Great shape. So you've seen all this, you know what it is. If you've seen, oh, let's do this. This one is not sticky. That seems to work very good. Um, oh, I gotta grab the documents out of the glove compartment. Maybe I'll just show you them at my mom's place. We're gonna go back and pick up my woman when I'm done. Okay, look at this motor. Watch this. I'll get the stickers and look at the uh, hey, uh, nah, gaskets and stuff. Uh, seals, everything is just beautiful. chassis down here and everything it's in great condition you can tell it just hasn't been used it's just absolutely beautiful well it's been used it's got 41,000 on it but you see these with 241 and 341 on it so absolutely low 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 miles you get this here I was gonna glue one of those aftermarket um, hood liners on it I just did not think that was worth it really because I don't want to hide anything that's on it which this is mostly just glue there, but let whoever wants it can pick their color. I was a little frayed on that vacuum hose or something. Okay, well. Look at that car, man. Get it now, 41,000 miles, because I'll tell you what, it ain't going to last, and when it comes down to it, you ain't going to find a cleaner, tighter, better W126, or technically C126 coupe around. That door handle drags a little bit. Easy fix, but as you can see, these are indeed Debra's keys. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to clip this all in here, but I'm clipping it on in. It's got the original owner's manual, um, which, wow, they made them for a, a lot of different cars for this one to match, and it tells all about everything in it. You got your owner's manual and then to boot the Becker auto radio um, Becker Europa came in these maybe I don't know if it's a Becker yeah I would think so because it is a gray market but it's also got a lot of people might not like this but hey whatever it's got a pioneer in it and you can put it back to however you want and there's the manual for it it's got the which one is this service sorry about that service thing for this it doesn't have the stamp book um, I don't I don't know if the great, I would think everyone came with one, but some little, I don't even know, oh, seat belt tensioners and stuff like that. Uh, for all the dealers, service stuff, God, they got everything in there, man. That's that, here's this, and then it's got the, how do I use the cruise control and such, and it's got it in German on the back side, I think, I believe that's German. Um, the auto climate control card 
and I didn't want to be all goofy, but I really did want to just like tie these on the inside of the car where they belong, just because it looks cool for presentation. Uh, what is this? Um, oh, if you get in an accident or something, is what I think that is. And the, I think this is the original case, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's got a receipt for doing two catalytic converters. Other than that, um, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to put this right here, and I got, it's got a set of mats, they're aftermarket, but you gotta look at this tire again. Look at this tire and wheel. Oh man, I'm telling you, it is like, look at this a paper sticker, man. It's like, this thing's never been used. It's got titties on the tread. Okay, well, that's the deal. Thanks for watching, I'll clip this in somewhere. I don't know if I said this in the video yet, but it's got the problem with the finish, but I just couldn't bring myself to take this little box because it's beautiful. It matched somewhat that. And it's real wood. It's make a nice humidor. I mean, I could take it out and the console's in great condition. But I just didn't want to do it. And when you do take it out, it could um oh, there's a little bit of something on there. It could kinda I don't know how they attached it, man. They didn't screw it down. It's in there pretty good. Nice box though. This one does have the seat heaters, and it also does have the um, interval lights or whatever, where you can turn it different stages of the fog light, one, two, and three. I don't know if that's a regular option. I know the heated seats don't come in all of them. And I don't know if these are comfort seats or some kind of a orthopedic or something seat. I don't know. I'm not, I like the headrests. They're in great shape too. Oh crap handles for both. You know, I always hit me how we never got the oh shit handles on the driver's side. It's in great shape, you can see right there, just a little bit of discoloration from, that'll clean up, I'll bet even. In fact, I'm scratching that a little bit, just like I haven't even tried to clean it, a little smudgy. Um, I showed you this. Actually, did I? Yeah, because that's all. Okay, that's that. We'll clip it in somewhere. Actually, another thing, there's a tiny, tiny hairline crack. I don't even know if you can see it. Tiny, but it's tight. And this? I don't even see anything like that here, but they're not all cracked up, split up or nothing. Um, no cracks around here. I think they might have put a cover on this. Um, I don't know. Ah, yes. I'm gonna say I think there's a, a cover on this. I'm not positive. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't wanna pry on it too much. Yeah, I believe that's a cover. Dash, it's in beautiful condition, but I believe it's a cover. Deborah's Mercedes, that is. And actually, just a second ago, I grabbed Deborah's Mercedes keys, threw them in my hand, and almost took off. Hacking all that works. And I'll tell you what, the car is powerful. It's weird seeing that light up green, the seatbelt thing. Windows. I don't know if that one's ever been used in a long time. Uh, I'm telling you, the car is tight. Look at this. Now these, I give an excuse. Because when that happens, they just usually don't work. And I think there's a fuse burnout for these lights because of this being off and you got that is an issue can you see my hand i'm sorry my camera's not auto focusing enough i'm sorry about that um ac is it's ice cold it's cold this here works maybe we'll just leave that down i kind of like that okay here the mirror does not work uh could be a switch or a fuse i do not know and I'll tell you what else I do not know. I don't remember if that's a traction control or what that switch is. Just don't remember. Now, the car ain't been in, on the road in many years, but I'll tell you what, it's quick, it's powerful, and it does what it's supposed to, 100%. Uh, the upshift, the downshift, every, oh wait, let's take that back. That does work. It just probably hadn't been turned on in so long. 
Sometimes when you turn, you hear a little arm on the tires. Because there's just so, so much tread on them or something, I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and shut this light off. Yeah, it does work. It's just the switch just has to be, if you go too far, yeah, there it is. On and off works fine. So. A little half throttle there. And it just goes. ABS light is on. Uh, sensor or something with that. Oh, that brakes squeak a little bit when you hit it. And I'll tell you what, it ain't been driven. I let this thing okay so going on down the road and I'll tell you what it's clean it is clean um, I'm probably gonna turn around here or go all the way down I don't know let's see what happens Okay, we'll go all the way down. So, great car, great price. Look up my website, oneownercarguy.com. Um, I don't know if I'm doing this on an eBay auction. I don't know if I'm doing this on a, uh, what's the other one? I don't know, bring a trailer auction. I'd like to do bring a trailer, just because they have some really nice Mercedes and such there. Yeah, a little screech of the tire right now when you go around a corner and push on the gas really good or you smoosh the brake really good. And I'll tell you, I think it needs plugs and wires um, and a good tune-up. Um, it hasn't had that. And I'm not going to start doing stuff with no warranty for the um, buyer and all that stuff. Um, you buy the parts, you do the thing, you got the warranty. You don't, well you don't. So do whatever to it. It's a good running car, the engine's solid, and it's just pretty, pretty nice. Okay, traffic jam. My goodness, are you kidding me? Okay, well there is a traffic jam. There's like seven, eight cars up there. So I'm just gonna cruise on up the road. That's giving me a nasty glare, I don't like that. Okay, one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. 41839 on this car. And if you're looking for a W126, a C126, you need to give me a call because this is the one for you. Um, make sure to subscribe on my channel and hopefully you've seen the whole video here. If not, look through my other videos and you'll see that there's an interior and exterior. Um, and if you're on my main channel, Serial Marshmallows, with all one. I want to just shut this off now because I don't want to talk. But I don't really want to shut it off either because I want to give you the full test drive and get back to the place. So let's put the foot in a bit. Oh man, the car is just nice. Uh, I'm sure over time you're going to do something to it. Yes, it's only 41,000 miles, but the car is one year older than my woman. She's thinking 31 years old, 33 years old. I don't know, 33. I, 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 I. Let's not do math right now. So that's that. Okay, I want to make sure and show you the dash again while we're behind this person going 20. Not even 20. It's just in great shape. Now the mirror is a little loose. It works, it doesn't move around or anything, but it's a little loose. The horn does not honk. So there's a, a fuse or something that's out. There's this little thing that flips down by the mirror to block the sun out from in between there and just a little bit of a cough now and then but I'll tell you what it goes see what I mean you let off though and every once in a while the tires a screech going around a corner okay oh man it goes I'm telling you okay that's that, that's the car. Hope you've enjoyed your review. Blinkers are blinking away. My dad's car.
check out my channel for the Bull Shippers Mercedes. You can look up Dad's Mercedes. I'm actually going to back this up and put it in a different place to where I can get a couple pictures of it. I like it right here. I'm going to roll this up, roll this up, leave my sunroof open. Boom. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're looking for a low mile, nice, clean W or C126, stop it and call me. Call this man. That's right. So beautiful. There's a wheel lock for the wheels, and we actually have that. And like I say, the wheels are not perfect, but they're in great shape. Um, look at this car. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, the bull shipper bins, the GL is for sale. I got an S Class W140 over there for sale. I sell a lot of Mercedes. And as you've seen in the other video, Lily has a BMW for sale. B12 750. Call me. 406-546-8748. Uh, Oneonthecarguide.com. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you.